Hi, this is Eric Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the float base on your Samsung dishwasher. If you need a new float base for your Samsung dishwasher, you can check our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The float base is part of the dishwasher's float assembly. The float raises and lowers with the water level of the dishwasher. The float triggers the float switch if the dishwasher overfills to stop the dishwasher from overfilling with water. If any part of the float assembly fails, the dishwasher may not properly sense the water level in the dishwasher, which can cause the dishwasher not to fill with water properly. First, disconnect power to the dishwasher. If your dishwasher has a power cord, unplug the dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to turn off power at the breaker before disconnecting the wires in the terminal box, which is located underneath the dishwasher. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink plumbing or garbage disposal. Then. Feed the drain hose and power cord through the holes in your cabinet as far as they'll go. Next, turn off the water shutoff valve for the water supply line. Next, open the dishwasher's door and remove the screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop. If your dishwasher is side mounted, remove the screws from the cabinet, which may be located behind the cabinet seal or behind the plastic cap on the side of the dishwasher. You may need to lower the dishwasher's front leveling legs if it is too tight against the countertop. Now slide the dishwasher out from underneath the countertop, being sure to carefully feed both the power cord and drain hose through the holes in the cabinet. If your water line does not have enough slack in it to pull the dishwasher out, disconnect the water line from the house's plumbing and pull out the dishwasher. Or, if you're able to access the back of the dishwasher, use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the water inlet line from the dishwasher. Carefully flip the dishwasher onto its back on a soft surface to avoid scratching or damaging it. The base cover is located here on the bottom of the dishwasher. Using a Phillips headed screwdriver, remove the screw holding the base cover. Then depress the four locking tabs located here on the base cover to remove it. Carefully pull the cover away from the dishwasher as it is still connected by an electrical connector. Next, gently but firmly pull on the wire to disconnect the leakage sensor micro switch. The flow base is located here on the bottom of the dishwasher's tub. Gently pull to disconnect the electrical connectors. Then, using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw holding the float base to the tub. Next, slide the float out of the float base and remove the base. Gently prime the float base while rotating the micro switch up to remove it. If you need to purchase a new float base, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you are searching with the model number from the tag on your dishwasher to make sure you are getting the correct part. For Samsung appliances, use the longer version of the model number listed on the tag, followed by a dash and then the version number if one is listed. For example, this dishwasher's full model number ends with a slash AA dash zero zero. To install the float switch, align the retaining tab on the float base to the back of the float switch. Then, rotate it forward and install the second retainer. To install, align the float base to the base of the dishwasher. Then, reinstall the screw. Next, reconnect the electrical connector. Then, reconnect the electrical connector. Align the base cover to the frame of the dishwasher and press into place. Then, install the screw holding the cover to the frame. To reinstall, begin by installing the water inlet line to the back of the dishwasher. Or, if you have to disconnect the water inlet line from the house's plumbing, feed the water line through the bottom hole in the cabinet and reconnect it to the plumbing. With the dishwasher near the cabinet, feed the drain hose through the holes located towards the top of the cabinet and feed the power cord through the lower hole. Now, push the dishwasher back a few inches underneath the countertop and continue feeding the drain hose and power cord through the cabinet. Repeat until the dishwasher is in place. With the dishwasher's door open, align the holes in the mounting brackets with the pre-existing screw holes on the underside of the countertop or the screw holes in the cabinet if using the side mounting option. You may need to extend the dishwasher's front leveling legs to ensure a tight fit against the countertop. 
Then reinstall the two mounting bracket screws. Reconnect the drain tube to the sink, plumbing, or garbage disposal. Now plug in your dishwasher. If your dishwasher is hardwired, you'll need to reconnect the wires in the terminal box and restore power by flipping the breaker. And last, turn on the water valve. Finally, test the dishwasher and check for any leaks. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.